so hey guys in this video you're going to learn how to make a new branch and then how to make a pull request on your project that is on github so let's start with creating a branch so here basically whenever you take a clone of the github repository and open in VS Code, then the default branch would be the main or a master branch depending upon your repository. Then to make a branch uh, out of it, there are basically two commands. Like there are two methods in which first method you have to enter these two commands that is git branch and your branch name and then you have to check out to that branch or you can do it by a single command that is git checkout dash b and your branch name so you enter this in the terminal part and then it will create a branch for that or uh, in vs code you have an alternate that is you can go here in the source control then in the options branch and here there is option like create branch from so you select that and you create a branch from the main which is where are we currently and then you just have to give a branch name so I'll just give a name to it so here as we can see a new branch has been created which is new feature currently that is my branch name and now we'll change some of our code so this is the code change and on VS code it will reflect like this in the here in the changes and if you do get status this is the modified change and here is your branch name that we just had created so to commit this change we'll just stage it and then we'll add a commit message to that like and then we'll commit it you can also commit it from this by using these commands as git has suggested but VS code makes it easy to commit and push so we have committed it and now it's time to push or you can alternatively do publish branch button it is in here so I'll just push it and VS code will ask that the new branch has no remote branch would you like to publish it so we'll click on ok and we'll check out on our github repo so there will be a message right here which will ask that uh, do you want to create a pull request so we'll wait for that so yeah so here is our uh, message that is on the github repo wherever we creating a branch here we have to click compare and pull request and this will be the title of our pull request so it will generally be a ticket number which is assigned to you on Jira whether in which company uh, or project wherever you're working so I'll just leave it empty for now and I'll just give a title to that and let's add the same in the comment part so it basically tells that we are creating new branch of this name on the branch main it can be master main release or anything depending on your choice then there are two options right here which is draft pull request or a create a pull request until your all code is done we generally do everything the draft pull request and this is the change that we have made so here I'll go ahead and create a draft pull request so 
yeah this is a PR on the repo which will also be seen in this part that is the pull request part which is a uh, title is this then the comment part is this and this is our commit here right here so until a code is uh, properly done we generally keep it in the draft state like if we have to do other commits in this theme we can do some other commits for this like for testing we'll just make some changes here like This will be our new change. We'll just stage it and commit and push. Oh, before that, we have to write a comment message. And we just do commit and push from VS Code. So it will push that in our GitHub repo and then it will be reflecting out in here in this pull request as we are on this branch. So as you can see this is our the this is the latest commit that we just pushed from our local. So let's say like all our code for this pull request is done, then we just mark it ready for review like anyone like your senior or other team members can review this pull request now and uh, you generally add them over here or it, or it gets automatically added then if someone reviews and approves your code then this will be able to merge generally there is a like a procedure is followed when someone is merged then only this button will get green but for now uh, we'll just merge this oh, so let us check out the app.js file in the main branch which is here so currently this has the old code that is on the main branch and the code that we are doing is in this PR so until this PR is not merged then our changes will not be in the main branch so as soon as we merge this and confirm merge then all our changes that we made for this will just reflect out in the main branch so the status for here is now changed to merge that means your new feature branch and everything code that is present in this will be merged in this main branch and we'll just check out in the main branch we'll just reload the page so yeah here you can see that this is the part that we had made in the PR for this which is now merged on the main branch so generally after uh, merging this branch it will get deleted in most of the scenarios and on the local you should also generally check out back to the main branch so whenever you will do that your main branch on the local will be behind from the origin main branch so we just have to do get pull here like if we see here the main branch on a local is already old one so until we just do get pull new changes will not reflect on the local part so we just will just do get pull and all our changes will be synced with the local so yeah this is the one if you install git lens extinction then you will also be able to see that uh, who committed this part and the history the changes and all so yes that is from the video hope you like it and make sure to subscribe the channel 
and do leave a comment if you want some another video related to draft PR branches or like merge conflicts. Yeah. Thank you friends.